everyone. Good, good evening to Cavite National Science High School. Representing the Philippines in the first ever robbery of Philippines 28. To be held in Camp Benjamin, Alfonso Cavite, on November 10 to 11, in the year of our Lord, 2018. This information alongside the frontier for this video is retrieved from www.robbery.org. I'm Missy. Krista. Marvick. And Matthew. Creators of the anti-theft shocking electric robot or taser. Our own security device. We made this robot to help battle increase in the rate of theft every day around the world. Aside from contributing to the improvement of security in our houses, building and programming this device also help us to enhance our programming skills and creativity in different aspects of technology. Using recycled materials such as preheated plastic and aluminum plate for the device's base, we also help clean and protect the environment. With the help of our coach, we constructed a prototype that we envision will help families around the world against theft in their houses. The device uses an ATX to microcontroller, making the device easy to program by almost anyone who has a background in Arduino programming. Taser is somehow small, only measuring around 23 by 23 centimeters. This allows the robot to fit in small spaces around the house. The device, as mentioned earlier, uses an ATX2 microcontroller for its MCU. This allows the robot to handle up to 6 motors and 14 sensors without any add-ons. Taser uses 4 DC motors, 3 distance sensors, and 1 LED. For ethical purposes, the Taser is removed, replaced by an LED in the demo. The distance sensors are positioned neatly in the front, left, and right side. This gives the robot a view of almost everything around it. When the robot detects an intruder with the distance sensors, it will chase the intruder, and when the taser comes close enough, the LED will activate, meaning the taser will activate stunning the intruder.